you know the better. Chat, this is TikTok stupid as criminal. Criminal. It better not be one of you guys. There better not be no criminals in chat. He was too famous to be arrested. Put both your hands out the window. I don't know who I am. Yet his 1.4. Y'all know who I am? Bro, TikTokers are so conceited. Not him. You know him? Oh, is this your man, Draco Umi? Million followers yes. failed to help anything as TikTok's Arrested. dumbest criminal has been in jail for almost a full year. To introduce the type of guy he is, I see why I it see was why employed it? before TikTok. Had a job, I worked at McDonald's. Yet a family member. Who the hell? Member exposed him stating fuck. he worked there for a week and showed up one day and they were like why are you here he found out the previous day he showed up to work so high on xanax that he got Damn. fired and he didn't remember any of it thankfully for wyatt however a work ethic wasn't needed He's for his genre queen, of tiktok though, you know? content simply being a feminine man who was attracted to women if i had a girlfriend hair nails new bag because I want to take care of my girl. Oh, he likes girls? Gum his fingernails. I would be so proud to have a girlfriend, and I would be obsessed <laughs> with her. Lamau, yes. No way. I'm that was his very first TikTok, and it gained over 8 million views, fueled by people wondering if he was actually telling the truth. I see why it fed into this to achieve a repeat audience, with videos as simple as people who don't understand that I can be femme and still like girls, giving him hundreds of thousands of likes. That's crazy. Why it funneled this attention into being- He's in jail now. I'm sure his wifey at home waiting for him. But he's probably not waiting for his wifey in jail. You know what I mean? He's in my type go gambling sponsorships. I am the king of bingo. I am the king of gambling. And then scolded the audience because they weren't as rich as him. I make $800,000 a year. You're not even near my tax bracket. Google me. You can see my net worth. Maybe Wyatt had an Jeez. ego as he'd previously been in jail. And I've been to jail like multiple times. Which the audience quickly realized he most definitely deserved. Because a user named KD Nail Artistry. Oh God, of course it'd be a nail artist a TikTok Lord explaining she was the one who did Wyatt's nails and he agreed to pay me from the start at a price of $200 for three different sessions. Well, rather than paying, he wrote me a check from a closed bank account. Damn! Who the fuck? Bro, first of all, W nail lady for taking a check, but who the fuck takes checks? Fraud. He also knew I was in nail school at the Lock time, him up. so not only was Wyatt a total scumbag, but it also seemed he wasn't as rich as he professed. Despite this, Wyatt only kept on bragging. Gee, Broke I sure aura. do look like the disappointment of the family, but isn't it funny how I make the most money? I feel like he's hanging out with like a sugar mama or sugar daddy or rich friend to flex all this. That's a throwback. I haven't seen scumbag Steve in a while. Broke aura. It's not even bad, honestly. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's not. My paycheck. Believing that you'll get much further in life by cutting off all the toxic people and focusing on becoming the main character. Wyatt seemingly went against his own advice and began dating a girl named Moore with whom he started to spend irresponsible amounts of money. Okay, so baby got her vans. Hey, you know, I had to get me one to stop playing with some things now. Wyatt had Bro, why would people buy expensive cars like with TikTok? What up, mini puns? Like... He shopped at Chinatown. Hey, don't be hate on Chinatown. Well, I've got a few things from there. His Mercedes wrapped in hot pink, while Moore's Mercedes was crashed within a month, introducing everyone to Wyatt's terrible driving history. Jeez, bro. I I don't know, bro. I would never have a cr like the the nicest car I'd, I'd probably want if I ever had like a good amount of money is a Nissan GTO. Just will pay your damn rent, or or like invest it in yourself, invest it into a business, and next it and like get an investor. Five A, ha <laughs> ha! Oh my God, girl, he's so delusional. Look at him, five A had us. He had to move out of California solely because of driving offenses. The reason why I went to Florida was because I couldn't drive here. I had like so many traffic tickets and like <laughs> driving on suspended license, oh DUIs, everything. So I went to Florida. And Not flexing a DUI. And perfectly fine. And would upload an old video of his own road rage incident, trying to look tough with the title "Don't Play with Me" TF. Wyatt was clearly proud of being a terrible Jesus. human. And normally I'm not that nice. Normally it doesn't matter. Sure. I'll be like, shut the f up. I don't want to hear.
they're always going to be in the shop. Plus, they go down in value. It's like such a, it's an unappreciated asset, I think is what it's called. Have money, bro, for real. Why did he get surprised when she kissed him? Maybe they took your license for a reason. Why? I hope this helps. Bro, exactly. Exactly. And like, bro, why? You're a TikToker. Why do you have this chain? Why do you, why, why did like, why does TikTok give people such massive egos, bro? Hear about that please stop talking about that next That's subject crazy. and nothing solidified this more than a video he accidentally posted he'd already given the audience a tour of his oh house oh god i'm so glad i got rid of my mullet but it was specifically on this house's front walkway that he'd kick his girlfriend out by throwing away all of her possessions wyatt claimed the video was posted accidentally and the couple quickly reconciled but the pink mercedes seen back in the tour was about to be another problem damn that you don't hey don't show him joke like that see on anthony padilla i have no idea want to be rapper vibes i know i said a lot 25 days after so getting the fucked. car, he'd post this TikTok oh. looking all bruised and battered, which came with a tweet reading, I'm gonna get some rest and try and recover. My face is in so much pain and the rest of my body. Wyatt then gave some context. Did he wreck he the Mercedes? He claimed that two white hillbillies attacked him unprovoked. I was hate crimed in Florida. I was attacked by two men. My car was stuck between like a Chick-fil-A line. They backed me in so that they could both come out and come on either side of my car and attack me. Describe like what they looked like. like older men, Big like RA. Fat hillbilly in like a white pickup truck. That's yeah. what they look like. Hey, I'm what up, Ian? Mercedes with this type of nails. Yeah. And when he called to report the hate crime, police beat him further because he didn't take off his seatbelt. What? Got story time about how I got ripped out my Mercedes and my ass beat for trying to take my seatbelt off when they tell me to get out the car. White had filmed his own snippet of the incident. I can't take the seatbelt off. You need to show some respect. Posting only what made him look like a victim with the caption, Jeez. Sunrise County Police in Broward County ambushed me in my neighborhood hours after I had called for help in a road rage incident earlier in the day. They didn't send anyone to help me, but came to my house hours later and held me at gunpoint. Damn. This is not okay. Wyatt was clearly the victim here, right? Well, later that day, TMZ posted their own article. TMZ is reporting on ICY TikTokers? Arrested for battery on police officers which clarified he was booked on Monday night for two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, one count of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, what one count fuck? of battery on an officer, and one count of resisting arrest. Wyatt's innocence what was suddenly fuck? in question, yet he continued to claim I was the victim. This was in self-defense, also adding I didn't batter the police. I was handed my phone, and then another officer ripped it out of my hand, and because I didn't release it right away, he said I assaulted him. On TikTok, Wyatt maintained it was all police's fault. The rumors are not true. There will be several news stories coming out soon about what actually happened. The police were in many wrongs. Until the body cam yeah, footage was SB. publicly released. Oh, nobody shit. surprised why it wasn't actually. Why do, why do people, why do people like lie? Especially when it comes to police. Especially nowadays with body cams. Like, you gotta get exposed, bro. You're getting exposed by the government. They hate crime. It began with him parked in the middle of the street, yelling so at a stupid. random lady, leading the two white hillbillies to stand up for the woman. They politely told White to get back in the car, stop blocking traffic, to which White responded by pistol whipping them, throwing a drink on their car, and pistol whipping erratically in front of them. <laughs> almost hitting a lady with her infant baby as he sped away from the scene. In a beautiful display of- What the fuck? For him, pistol whipping is crazy, no. Stupidity. Wyatt then called police himself reporting, Fuck I just him. pulled over because somebody just tried to kill me in the car. This truck came up and tried to cut me off. So I pulled over to the next lane, and again he's trying to swerve into my lane, and tried to hit the car. What Yet the- this is actually- He's crazed? And then he tattled to- he snitched on himself? Absolutely not. Like all the business cameras, people recording, people standing around. Actually what he'd done to them. Wyatt then continued lying. And then I had four guys jump out of the car and say, we're going to beat the crap out of you and stuff. Failing to include that he'd pistol whip them after. After speaking with these hillbillies, police discovered the truth. Showing up at Wyatt's house to arrest him. Damn. When he'd speak the infamous line, y'all don't know who I am. Wyatt maintained I didn't hit nobody. Claiming his girlfriend was there to confirm his story. You don't know who I am. I can't be a witness to a, What's she a, with you? Yes. 
Oh, okay. Well, we're, we can talk to her when she gets here. Moore then showed up to tell her side. Yet it was later shown by this frame that Moore wasn't even there at the time. White's final defense of Bro, having a gun. She gonna go down for it. Was because he drove a bright pink car who is famous online and gets messed with on the freeways all the time, as if it's been a lifelong issue. And he didn't just buy the car. Bro, shut up. Before. Why is he, he acting added, so famous? I have millions famous. of followers. People make this stuff up all the time. To which the cop responded. That's crazy. Not everybody knows who you are. Prompting That's a crazy ego. I have 58 million followers. Every what? Everybody who's been on TikTok <laughs> or Instagram He's so lost. has seen who I am. I've never Before heard of him. spending the night in jail, Wyatt bragged about his jewelry. You know this is an 80,000 on a team that right? Being released the following day and posting a celebratory TikTok. You can't get rid of- He's so- oh my god, I have it either. Wyatt then called the paparazzi on himself to claim the don't you know who I am phrase was referring to him being the one who called police. I called the police okay. and told them that this whole altercation happened. So right. when they pulled up, I said, don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? I was bragging about his Damn. followers was due to his head injury. I'm not slurring my words okay. until they slammed my head on the ground. Then I'm like, oh, I have 58 million followers. Which was covered by a brand new tattoo Jeez. of his girlfriend's name on his face. Bro, she ain't gonna stay with you while you in jail. But looks 20. Man, if you spent $80,000 on that piece of shit, you're stupid. I never heard of this guy, I haven't either. Despite treating the arrest like one massive joke, so why it was in serious trouble. Not your girl's getting rod dogged by somebody, bro, and you got a tattoo on your face for her. Oh yeah, I might be facing 20 years in prison Checking because dip. of this name. Yet he'd still post TikToks such as this one. He's such an oaf. <laughs> They break All up, right, y'all. Do y'all think I should get this 2021 Range Rover or About should I get up. a G-Wagon? Leading to many comments mocking him. You should get a lawyer, bro. If I were facing up to 20 years, I don't think looking for a new vehicle would be at the top of my list of things to do. Additionally, because Wyatt was now awaiting trial... If I got pulled over, I could get the maximum sentence. 10 yeah. years. Leading to a TikTok beef with his very own mother. She simply oh, gave what Wyatt the, fuck? the most obvious advice ever ever she's like well you know you're not supposed to be driving if you get pulled over you're gonna go to jail for 10 years blah 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 and i'm like girl can we talk about this another time like i'm really not trying to hear about this she's <laughs> like okay well i'll talk to you about it later then i'm like no i don't ever want to talk to you about it unless i bring it up because this mama imagine getting beef with your mom on tiktok I mean, leading to their relationship completely falling apart they'd publicly argue back and forth about anything and everything that's crazy although Wyatt failed to take any of her advice in prison, because during this period of waiting for his sentence Wyatt's wow. stepdad proudly announced he got into an altercation and keyed a car while he was out on bail. As a result, Wyatt was rearrested so to be bro, jailed that's, until that's his trial, ridiculous. predicting just beforehand he wouldn't be in for long. I'm looking at probably a month's time in $10,000. However, three months passed without a word about his trial, Damn. and his plan to work out every day didn't exactly happen. Because I'm gonna just be working out the whole time. As he'd oh, tell his girlfriend by a jail phone, he'd gained 40 pounds or 18 kilos. Damn. In the process, Wyatt was facing other issues. Have you gotten in a fight since you've been in there? I was attacked. As Moore finds out why, it will be serving at least two years. I know I was being Delulu, like thinking that this was gonna be like quick and easy and that you were gonna be home. Bro, oh, she's doing stream TikTok streams on his account of the prison calls. No way, this is real though, for real. But these are these people's lives. She's not gonna stay, bro, little man. She's got that TikTok account, bro. She can just change the name and get the fuck out of there. For her acting, clout is so busted. The reality is just like very much like hitting me now. Despite this, Moore had Icy Wyatt tattooed on her neck, <laughs> live streaming the session You're during upset. which she'd get a call. On the phone was a very debt niche. collector asking for payments on a mattress. They've got all this money apparently, Wrap but can't buy a mattress outright. Wyatt's mum then revealed they had payments on their cars, making it obvious they'd financed their whole life and were pretty much broke. Two months ago, everything was financed. Bro, what the fuck? Wyatt vocalized being worried about the cost of a phone call while his 40 pound weight gain has turned into 70. I gained 70 pounds since I've been here. 
As a last ditch effort, Wyatt sent the judge a letter stating, I feel absolutely terrible and ashamed for the way I handled things with these people. I'm not the type of person to hurt anyone or yeah, vandalize yeah, yeah. Except for property. you got that just isn't who I am or who I want to be, but the judge didn't buy it. I see Wyatt she still yet strategy. to be convicted, having spent 12 months in he prison did. and lost absolutely everything simply because he couldn't hold his anger. Yeah, and you know those payments are running.